I spent a little time drawing out an eagle feather. Um, that's kind of my idea of an eagle feather after I've done a little research. And um, what I'm going to do now is to cut out this uh, piece and I'll have a template. A couple of different ways you can uh, transfer patterns to leather and this is just one of them. You can archive your pattern and use this again later. That's one unique thing about this. Set in and cut out my template. Now I have an eagle feather template that I can transfer over to wet encased leather. Hello, I've got a leather carving project here that I'm working on. And this is a piece of vegetable tan leather that I've wet encased. I've cut it to the shape I want, which is 5 inches by 11 and a half. And I have a template that I hand cut out of poster board. And what I'm going to do is lay this on top of this and scribe around it. And then I'll cut this uh, feather in with a leather carving knife. I'll show you how to do that right now. Wet and cased leather is very impress impressionable. Um, it will receive your scribe line there. And once it's in there, it's pretty much in there from now on. Um, it's not going to come out very easily. Now I'll lightly scribe a line right up the center. If your leather dries out a little bit, you can have a sponge handy and dampen your leather, especially to cut in your design. When it comes to the beveling, you uh, let your leather dry out a little bit so the uh, design will uh, stay uh, tooled in real deep. I have some uh, silver polish embedded in a piece of uh, leather and I use it to strop my, my leather carving blade and it um, makes it cut a lot better. Um, and I'll usually do that several times a minute just to give you an idea how much I strop my uh, blade.
Now I'm going to come in here and put just a little bit of a cross hatch from the center out uh, just a little ways. And then when I bevel around this and then down through the center of the uh, feather, um, it should have a unique effect. I think this is something you can uh, really have fun with. So let's see, if I start here, that's one thing, if I start here I can uh, see my marks pretty good as I put them on. The other way, I, it's a little harder, I just got through doing it though, so anyway, put just a little bit of a cross hatch on there. Might be just a little heavier toward the center and lighten up as I pull out. Now down in this area, I'm going to do a, uh, like some after feathers. It's just that fuzzy feather stuff. And I can do that fairly easy by just uh, dragging my blade around, kind of scratching it. And okay, I'm going to put this piece in front of the fan now and let this dry out. It's too wet to uh, bevel with my tools right now. So when this dries out a little bit, I'll come back and bevel around the outside and right down the center. The piece is still somewhat damp and uh, I'm going to uh, start the beveling process now first beveler I'll use is a craft tool B2045. I may just go right down the center and start my beveling. These are steep bevelers. Um, the B802 and B803 are not quite as steep. The beveling is what will really bring your piece to life between that and your uh, cut marks. What I'm doing is little light taps and then I move the tool. The more taps and the way you move your tool, it um, makes a smooth bevel. It takes a little practice, but you'll get it Try to give you a close up of what I'm doing here. There'll be times to bear down and there'll be times to lighten up. See what I'm doing with this tool, I'm setting it right next to my cut in mark there where I cut that with my leather carving knife, right there and there in that groove. So 
So I'll spend a little bit of time beveling. Make sure it suits me. Get rid of the little, some of the little marks there in between. I like it to be smooth. And um, you can do the same. I just like the natural look of leather and I like to look at the grain and kind of smooth it out with my hands or maybe a rubbing stick, coca ball or something like that. So I don't think I'm going to color this with anything other than maybe a light coat of oil and then put um, some uh, maybe a sealer on top of that like a thieving's tan coat. Thanks for watching.